This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the new features in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Recently, Adobe updated Premiere Pro to version 22, where one of the big new features is simplifying sequences. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how this feature works, the options it has, and when it makes sense to use it. This duplicates an existing sequence and removes empty tracks, disables clips with specific labels, and or removes markers or other user-specified elements. In other words, it takes your messy sequence and cleans it up. Let me show you how this works. In this sequence, let's just take a closer look at it. I have some empty tracks in the video, empty tracks in the audio. I have two disabled clips. I've changed the color by control clicking on this clip and given it a label of lavender. Maybe it's a clip I'm not sure about, or it's a placeholder, whatever. I can label the clip with a particular color. I have clips on top of other clips. It's, it's a mess. And notice that this icebergs clip has got two clips on top of it. What Simplify does is it makes a copy of your existing sequence, so it does no harm to the existing sequence. It makes a copy and removes a bunch of stuff all at your control. Let me show you. Go up to the Sequence menu, go all the way down toward the bottom, and you say, and you see, Simplify Sequence. Here's the dialog. First, we can give it a name. I'm going to leave the default for right now. You can check, because it's off by default, check close vertical gaps on video tracks, so we'll do that. We can remove from the video, or the audio, or both, empty tracks, yeah, I want to do that. Graphics, no. Transitions, yep. Through edits, yep, all of those edits right there are through edits, I want to get rid of those. I don't have a muted or disabled tracks, but I do have disabled clips. I want to get rid of all clips that have a lavender label, and I want to remove sequence markers that are red. I'm going to keep the green ones, but get rid of the red ones. So you can see, there's our lavender clip. There's a disabled clip. I've got empty tracks in the audio. Now watch how quick this is. Ready? Three, two, one, woof. Done. So <laughs> let's go back to here. This is the original. You can see the disabled, the lavender, the empty tracks. And here, ready? Look at how it makes everything neater. Reason that you'd want to do this is you want to send this sequence to another editor and you don't want to show what a messy job you <laughs> created. Or you're completely confused by what's there and what isn't. You just want to clean stuff up. The good news is because this makes a copy of your sequence, if you don't like the results of simplification, just go back to the original sequence. But isn't it cool that now I can apply a single menu choice and I can instantly clean up and get rid of all the garbage that I didn't want to have that I was, it's just too hard to get rid of manually. Now becomes very, very easy to get rid of automatically. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar covering the new features in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 324. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.